We're on part six, guys. We're almost done. We just get to add player movement and bullet shooting, and then check collision of the bullets with the players, and make it say which player has won. And that will be it. And we'll be done with this series, and hopefully move on to another series. So let's just go ahead. And the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna have to pass the um, this class, which is the shooter. So we're gonna pass shooter into um, the update method. So we're going to have to go ahead and update this, and something I want to go ahead and show you guys in Eclipse, it saves a lot of time. If you go ahead and hold the control down on a PC, you'll notice if you hover over something, it turns blue and makes like a link out of it. And you can do this with like anything really. And if you were to click on the update, the method there, it will um, jump to where it's actually defined in your program. So, we're going to actually have to pass final shooter, we'll name it shooter, but now we're going to have an error with this too, so we're going to need to make it the same thing inside of this class, the um, abstract game object, and now bullet is messed up too. Okay, so we're all set with that. Now we'll be able to use it. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do is check uh, first. So what we did, we said the ID with number one was going to be the left one, I believe. So, uh, well, it's going to be the same thing, so we'll just go ahead and copy and paste it afterwards. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, sorry about this. If Y pose is less than 26, but we're actually going to want to make this. So, well, if we use this right now, it's going to check um, if the Y position is less than 26. And 26 I'm getting from is the width of the title bar at the top of my Windows application. Yours might be different depending on which version of uh, Windows you're running or which... Uh, theme you're running on the windows or if you're using um, a different operating system than windows it also might be different so you might have to play around with this number but again we, we're not going to want it to check if it's less than we're going to want to check if it's not less than so we're going to put the some parentheses around that and then we're going to check if it's not with the not operator uh, in front of uh, the parentheses block and what that's going to do is just make sure it's not less than 26 and one thing I did forget to do is we're going to want to make it um, make sure player uh, one up and go ahead and move this in and we're going to have to use a shooter class for that so player one and indent that. So what this is saying is if the player one is, um, has the up key pressed or yeah the up key pressed which would be W then it's gonna go ahead and check and make sure it's not less than 26 and then it will go ahead and move the player up and the way we're gonna do that is just do Y pose minus minus and like I said the reason why we're doing minus minus is because Java considers the top to be at zero and the bottom to be at an increased number. So if you think about it, if you have a player at uh, say 50-50 on the screen, you're going to want to move his Y position up towards zero um, to make him go upwards on the screen. And obviously opposite for um, going down, you want to add to it. And then we're going to do the same thing here with the not and do Y pose and make sure it's not greater than shooter dot get height minus 96 and again this min minus 96 works with my app and it might not work with yours so now we'll go ahead and actually make it move up so y pose plus plus 
And I'm not even sure if we even need these IDs. That was kind of stupid to do it, but we'll just leave it in now to save time from removing it. If you want to go ahead and remove it, I'm pretty sure you can. You're not going to really need it. So now we're going to do player one down. And basically copy and paste this. And that was stupid to put that here. And we don't need this. So we only need the one going up in this one and the one going down in this one. You don't need it else elsewise. So if you go ahead and run it and you uh, use the W key, you'll notice that it will move down until it hits the bottom. And that's what that minus 96 is. And you see it's a little bit off, but again, you can play with those numbers yourself. Um... And the same thing with the top. It will stop before it gets to the top. And then, obviously, the right one doesn't work yet because we haven't added that. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and just go ahead and add that myself. And then, uh, you guys can... I'll explain it afterwards. I'm just going to type it out. Save time. Be right back. Alright, I went ahead and did it. And when I said, uh, you can remove the IDs, you don't really want to do that, I guess, because, um... When you call this, it's called every frame, every repaint, which is called, uh, I don't know, like every 500 milliseconds or something like that. And it would have to do all of this, um, each refresh. But it's really doing all of this right now, but it do it for both players instead of just one. And it's not even going to do this for the second player, and it's not even going to do this for the first player. So go ahead and just keep that the IDs in there. And I'll just go ahead and show you that it works. So now you can use the up and down arrow key, and simultaneously you can uh, move the other um, the other person at the same time. And in my other one, if you ever noticed um, that you couldn't do that, and it wasn't um, you can't just hold the key down and start moving the other player. It's the same, but you're using the same thing up here, but you're just changing the um, the boolean that you're using from player 1 to player 2 1. So all I did was change the numbers. It's the same exact code other than that. So basically that's it. Now if you were to add bullets, the basic way you want to do it would be um, just adding it the code right in here and not using booleans for it. And the reason for that is because if you were to use a boolean and somebody were to hold down the key, then it would um, like shoot like constantly and that would like cause or that would probably cause like I'm not sure um, depending on your computer too uh, it'd be different but I mean I guess there's a way around that if you were to use just the key released but again that'd be stupid because why make a whole boolean for doing that and putting it in the update that's called every frame when only you'd have to do it right here and only do it when you release the key just something to think about. So, basically, you'd want to do it right here and to get get key code equals key event dot vk space. And by the way, these are just underscores. Um, and what this is going to be is going to be the um, the left player or player one. And Uh, same thing, but I think I did enter in the other game. You guys can change these to whatever you want. I'm just basically giving it to you, and then I encourage you actually to go and modify this into your own thing. I know someone that has already contacted me and has actually already gone and started to do that after watching my tutorials. They're going ahead and um, changing some things about and actually changing the way the whole game works and adding some menus and stuff. So really go ahead and do whatever you guys want and this go well, this would be a player two and I'm not gonna have um, time to show you how to make the bullets but I will in the next tutorial thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later